What's up guys, Joe Gas here with an iPhone SDK tutorial. And I know I said a while ago that uh I won't be posting any more tutorials on my channel, iPhone SDK. But uh we're trying to make we can't really handle the community on PhoneBot, guys. It's getting a little out of hand. Um we're too busy making apps and um, I think we're just going to make PhoneBot, you know, a normal company that just says about and display our apps and maybe a little blog. So I think we're going to be getting rid of tutorials, podcasts, and all of that. So you might see some iPhone SDK tutorials back on my channel. Now, uh, you know, the 4.0 and the 3.2 firmware have a lot of new features. Now on the iPad, everyone's talking about, you know, popovers. That's what everyone's doing. Model presentations, how like a little card can slide up. And on the 4.0 firmware, they're doing a lot of backgrounding stuff. But there is something that Apple also allows you to do. Now, as many of you know, the UI menu controller is what shows up when you go to copy and paste something. The little black HUD, I guess you could say. That just kind of fades in and fades out right where you select. Well, in the 3.0 firmware, or 3.1, I should say, since you are able to do this exact thing on the iPad, you were not allowed to um, actually modify that or present it. So Dr. Touch, as many of you know, made a replacement called DT Menu Controller, which isn't exactly the same thing, just a really well-made image that looks exactly like it. So now Apple has made it so you could customize and present the UI menu controller. And um, this basically defeats the purpose of the DT menu controller. So le let me show you what it's going to be. If you um, click on this app, it basically says double tap to change the background color. I'm going to tap the view twice. The um, UI menu controller with custom buttons will come up. I can select green change it to green, red, blue. It's really nice guys and today we're gonna to be learning that. So we are going to want to open up Xcode and go to file new project. I'm gonna create a view base. You could do this for iPad or iPhone. I'm just gonna use iPhone and I'm gonna name this menu controller. You're gonna to wanna to go into, um, first of all I'm just gonna open up interface builder this is kind of pointless, but, you know, just to um, present the user with some information, put in a label and say, double tap to change background color. And I'm going to kind of drag that to above center and save that. So we're going to go into our viewcontroller.m and start. So, uh, you know, you could put this in a button action. You could put this wherever, whenever you want. I'm going to do it when you tap the view twice, as I demoed in the uh, beginning of the video. So we're going to use touches began. So we're going to make a void, and you're going to do touches began, and press enter when that shows up, and, you know, do your curly brackets. Inside there, we're going to declare a UI touch. I'm just going to name that touch, and equals event all touches close that and any object close that semicolon okay so now we're gonna do an if statement basically saying if the view is tapped twice so if touch tap count close the bracket equals equals two then we want something to happen, which is going to be presenting the UI menu controller. So first, we're just going to want to do self become first responder. And now we're going to actually create the item. So we're going to do a UI menu item. And I'm just going to name this menu item as my first one equals UI menu item alloc. And we want to do in it with title. The title is going to be blue because this is going to be the blue. The action, we're going to do at. 
see oh sorry at selector and then parentheses this is gonna be the action so I'm just gonna call this blue view close parentheses close square bracket semicolon and we're gonna copy this two more times make this menu item 2 menu item 3 change this to green change this to red and change our actions and we're good to go so now we're actually gonna be making the UI menu controller and adding the items to it so we're gonna do a UI menu controller and I'm gonna call this menu controller cont I guess short open bracket UI menu controller shared menu controller close bracket semicolon open bracket menu controller and we're going to declare the position when you tap so we're gonna do set target rect and we're gonna do a CG rect make and now we're gonna declare the position so I'm gonna do zero zero and uh, the width I'm gonna do 320 and the height I'm gonna do 200 in view self dot view close bracket semicolon alright so now we're gonna actually add the items to it so we're gonna do menu cont dot menu items menu frame I don't know where that came from menu items equals it's gonna be an NS array uh, array with objects and now we're gonna put our object in there so we named one menu item the next one is the menu item two and menu item three com nil when we're done close bracket semicolon enter now we're gonna set it visible set visible value oh sorry set menu visible bool yes animated yes that's basically if you that's gonna present it and that is going to make the fade animation okay so now what we're gonna do is when you do a selector like this you're not gonna do an IB action it's a void statement some of you might not know that so blue view was one of them and that one we're gonna do self dot view dot background color equals UI color blue color that's gonna change our background to blue so we're gonna copy this two other times and change this to green change this to red and do green color and finally red color okay we got the actions all set up and so it's basically that simple now we're gonna add a few other stuff so we're gonna make a bool statement it's gonna be can preform action press enter and it will look like this in there we're gonna do the open bracket close bracket and then bool answer equals no and then we're gonna do if action equals equals at selector to view to closed parentheses then we're gonna make the bool equal yes and we're gonna copy this two more times if action equals green view and red view okay and then at the end I'm gonna to return yes now what that's gonna do is basically add the actual items to it you could say 
um, because if we put this as yes, it's going to add all of the default for copy and paste. So with this, we can get rid of the copy and paste button that is inside, that is already inside the UI menu controller. So now all we're going to do is a bool can become first responder, and we're going to set that to yes, it can. One more thing, this return yes is supposed to be return answer. So now when we build and go, it will launch, double tap. You have the blue, green, red. Green, change it to green, blue, and then red. So yeah, guys, this is how to use the UI menu controller, add buttons to it, and display it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for some more. Have a great day, guys.